Jaime Algashwari, who's here right now. And Jaime, you were called by David Coulthard as his driver of the day. And we spoke just before we came live on the BBC as you were walking through the paddock and you said, well, I might not as well bother qualifying because it's all about the race. You did yeah. really well. Firstly, thank you, David, for oh. picking me as the driver of the day. And uh, I think the race went really well for, for both of us, for the, for the team in general. I think it confirms that we have a good car for Sunday, that we're still lacking pace for, for Saturday, but on Sunday, everything is going very well. We really look after the tires. We don't use the tires so much. And this is, I think, one of the best things that why we can do so good and uh, to keep on pushing at the end of the year and keep on scoring loads of points. Why do you think you have the race pace and not the qualifying pace necessarily? You know, what, what's different for you on race day? I think this year you just need to care about the rear tires on these cars and uh, this year tires are much different than what it was last year. If you know, if you look at the beginning of the year, I was suffering a lot of tire degradation and uh, I was stopping always once more than all my rivals and obviously finishing in the back. And then we changed so many things on the setup of the car. We've been working so much uh, in Faenza in Bologna, in the, you know, in the factory. And then we've realized that it's just about the race. Qualifying, it, it does matter, but it's more about the race pace. And then you need to work much more the front tires than the rears by changing your setup, your driving style. We realized all these kind of things. And in Monaco, I would say, I, I didn't finish because I crashed with Lewis, but um, I think Valencia was again, a really good race and after this everything came much easier for me and uh, I'm really not struggling to be there. Uh, I do struggle a lot in qualifying because obviously you have a race setup race, a race setup car but on Sunday everything comes much easier you know. Before Valencia we were writing you off. You were history weren't you? you? You were about to be sacked. I remember your dad and yourself coming to me and talking about various things and you had a great race in Valencia. What Psychologically, what's changed? Because you're a different person. Nothing. No, absolutely. I'm the same person. The only thing we changed uh, is the, ty the type of work. You know, when I started in Hungary 2009, I never raced Formula One before, you know, and everything was new for me. I understood Bridgestone tires. I think Formula One is all about experience. Obviously, mm. talent is very important, but experience is really a key, you know, and Formula One is so many things. It's so much different to other categories that you just need to test and test and understand everything, you know. 2010, I think, was a good season, especially the last part of the season. Then everything changed for 2011. Tires changed, the car was cha was different, and I had to rebuild my speed again. At the beginning of the year, it was very difficult. Qualifying was not so bad, but the race was, was awful, you know. Mm. We were using the tires so much, we were stopping maybe four times uh, per race, and, and this was, the, the, the race pace was really bad. Then we realized what we wanted, I started to, I knew the problem, but I didn't know the solution. So we started to build up our work. We started to understand what was going on in the car. We changed geometries, suspensions, so many things. Everything changed. I, I felt a different car in Monaco and, and everything came differently. Okay, well it done. It was like this. Well, congratulations. I Thank remember you. you telling David that you feel like a superhero behind the wheel. What were you yeah, today? Spider-Man, yeah, Superman, no, no. Batman, what was it? <laughs> you always feel like hero when you drive a Formula I One car. Super hey, God, hey, me, do you need it. that water? <laughs> yeah, I do. Can I have it? Yeah, yeah. You can get another one over there, maybe, yeah? <laughs> no, no. I, uh, I, I, think you need, okay. I think you've been Don't working a little bit harder than him yeah. this afternoon. Okay. So well Thank done. You. Congratulations. Thank you All right, we'll see you later on. There's a brave Thank driver you. Ref back. refusing Martin <laughs> Brundle a drop of water. <laughs>